There are certain TV programmes that, when on, are likely to lead to a rush of tweets blocking up your timeline. Observations such as, Kurt is fit, and MasterChef judges are weird. But if for you this is a good thing, you're going to love Telebug. This iPhone app takes the UK TV schedule and scans Twitter for mentions of the program, so you can see what people are saying about it. The first page shows you what's trending, and you can have a good delve into what people are saying, as well as favourite shows to show up in your own personalised feed. You can also view the Wikipedia entry for the show and rate it up or down. Signing in with Twitter means you see the tweets from your own friends first. The right button in the corner of the screen also fills in the hashtag for the program and allows you to get your thoughts to the world via Twitter. As we're in the middle of The Apprentice, a show everyone on Twitter has an opinion on, this could be just the app for the next few weeks. Not content with opening the world's eyes to the wonders of the jungle, ocean and deserts, David Attenborough is now tackling the world of dinosaurs with his new film, Flying Monsters 3D. And wouldn't you know it, there's a rather top-class iPad app to accompany the release. The perfect and free app for any dinosaur fan, or indeed David Attenborough fan, it takes you through both the making of the film and gives you some fun dinosaur knowledge with which to wow and amaze your friends. Set up like an iPad magazine, you swipe through the pages, watching interviews with the likes of Mr Attenborough and the crew, as well as a couple of cool interactions with models of the dinosaurs. And at the end, there's even a link to find out where you can see this 3D spectacular, as well as get Facebook or Twitter updates. It's like Jurassic Park in an app. I am a big fan of podcasts and will deliberately take the most convoluted route from A to B so I can spend a few more minutes on the bus enjoying them. Stitcher is an app that's available on the iPhone, Blackberry, Palm Pre and Android and is designed to deliver your favourite podcasts to your ears as a kind of playlist so they just keep coming. Open the app and you're invited to choose some favourite topics so that it can automatically create a playlist for you. You can also browse through topics, pick from specific sources, or even search for a certain podcast. It's at this point that you realise it's a very, very US-based selection, although there is a BBC channel that houses the best of their content. Once you've chosen what you like, you'll see the feeds under Favourites. You can edit these to change the order, and once you've got a playlist you're happy with, just press go and sit back and listen. Thumbs up or thumbs down will allow Stitcher to further customise your list by ordering your playlist for you. All in all, it's pretty smart, and at free, it's pretty cheap too. Ask anyone, the only dimension worth a fig nowadays is the third dimension. From 3D cinemas to 3D games consoles, three is the magic number. Whilst the iPhone doesn't have 3D capabilities per se, and it's one of the few features not rumoured to make an appearance on the iPhone 5, there are app developers out there to provide an interim solution. And so, to Trimensional. It's very simple to use. Find yourself a dark spot, turn up the brightness of your phone to max, and take the picture, keeping still whilst it scans. And then, watch in amazement as the app makes you 3D. Kind of. Ish. The key to getting a good 3D rendering is to make the background as dark as possible. It's telling that they provide about four other models that have already been 3 d should you be unconvinced by your own 3D image. So yes, it's no avatar, and it might make your eyeballs look a little bit pointy, but no one's perfect. Imagine if you had an iPhone in the 80s. After inventing eBay and selling it to the highest bidder, the second thing you'd clearly want to do is watch streaming episodes of My Two Dads on its 3.5 inch screen. Well now, all your 80s dreams have come true, thanks to Crackle. This app companion to Sony's streaming entertainment website lets you watch full movies, classic tele shows, and web originals in the palm of your hand. On the plus side, it's all free, although you may have to give your eyes over to ads every now and again. On the downside, most TV shows are cut up into five minute chunks, and even worse, they're called minisodes. And you can't download anything for offline viewing later on. Still, the 80s. Want more? Go to www.fraculus.com forward slash follow for a glut of RSSE, iTunesy, podcasty, subscription y options. <coughs>